Hi, what's up, beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashir Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your cinematic photo manipulation in Photoshop. Before getting into the video, just press the like button on this video, you know, so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset like this for you guys. And if you still not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of our videos and presets. Also, you know, visit our website that is www.asturicreations.com. From there, you can download new backgrounds, camera preset, Lightroom preset. LUTs, PNGs and every kind of you know photo editing stuff just for free. Also guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram just type Ashley Grayson. So guys just keep sharing our videos and just press the like button so that you know it will make me happy and make more videos and preset for you guys just for free. So guys let's jump with the beautiful world of Photoshop. So all you have to do is just capture some kind of you know good pose photograph in such a way that you are standing in or just you know lying on some walls. Now let's just select the photo by using the quick selection tool so just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the body of the subject and the area where you want to select. Now here the important thing is to select the hairs of the subject or the model. So all you have to do is just right click on it and select the select and mask option if you are using Photoshop CC or if you are using Photoshop CS6 then you can see refine brush at refine edge tool so select that tool now let's select this now all you have to do is just click on this second tool that is refine brush edge and just click on the plus icon make the opacity to 100% and just you know roll on the edges of the hairs of the model so it will automatically detect the edges of the minute details of the hair so uh, and make your selection very precise now just hit ok and just right click on it and select layer copy option to make a duplication of the selection which we have made so you can see we have made created a perfect cutout so the next thing would be that we have to put this photograph for our instagram profile so all you have to do is just crop the image Select the crop tool and select 8 is to 10 rich ratio which is a perfect Instagram ratio. So just keep this as our Instagram profile. So just extend this and hit OK. Now here all you have to do is just duplicate the layer, press go to the edit, select the free transform or go to the direct or press direct control T from the keyboard or command T. Now just right click on it and select flip horizontal and just place this somewhere over here and just hit ok or just merge it with the background layer or press again ctrl D and just select the wrap tool and just make it in this position and this one is really looking cool now just press enter and just merge it with the background layer again let's just crop the image once again so here we will just adjust the let's just keep it as it is now here all you need to do <coughs> is we are going to add here if you want to clone then you can just create new layer select the clone tool and select current and below, below sample tool and just pick the color and just paint it over somewhere here Now this is really looking very cool you can just make the cloning
now all you have to do is let's just merge both the layer right click on it and select merge layer and again let's crop the image once again and let's just first of all we are going to increase the brightness of the image so just duplicate the layer go to the curves and just pump up with from the between to increase the lightness of the image So you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after it is really looking very great now here you can just select the brush tool and select the black color from there and just erase it from over this portion because we want a vignette or blackish type of you know color effect so just keep it more darker on this portion just make bright on the model's face so just you can see the difference I'll just merge with all the layers now we are going to just make the skin uh, more smooth so select the brick mixture brush and make the wet to 40 percent load to 40 mix 31 flow 31 and just make sure you have selected this icon and let's just remove some kind of blemishes and just you know just increase uh, or just smoothen the skin just a little bit don't over smooth the skin otherwise it will look unnatural which you don't want so just do a minor retouching on the image You can also use the spot healing brush to remove the spots from somewhere. So finally here we have done the process of smoothening. Now let's just add the background. Go to the file, click on open and let's just uh, select the background from our computer. Let's select this. Just drag it and drop over here. It is really very simple to add the background. Go to the edit, select the free transform and just you can increase or decrease the size of the background. Place it somewhere over here. Now here we are going to add the sky. Go to the background, just drag and drop. Place this below all the layer. Go to the edit. Select the free transform, increase the size of this. And just hit OK. Now here just create new layer or add a layer mask on this on this background layer. Select the brush tool. Make sure you have selected the black color from this portion. Increase the size of the brush and just erase the unwanted area from this portion. Now this one is really looking perfect. Now here we are going to blur the edge of the subject so select the blur tool and just do the process of blurring the edges because this is very much necessary to in order to obtain the originalism in the image you should always do the cut out of object blurring edges blurring process because this will actually make your photograph to look very much amazing and realistic like it, it is captured from the camera so it is very much necessary that you should always do this blurring process whenever you cut out the image Here we will create new layer, create a clipping mask on it, select the brush tool and just pick the alt key and just pick the nearest color and just paint it. So finally here we have done this process of blurring the edges, now just merge all the layers from here, so right click on it and select merge layers. 
again let's just crop the image by using the crop tool and let's go to the color lookup and let's go to the cinematic color that is a4 so select this preset you can download this preset from our website or loot file that from our website now just merge it with the background layer now go to the filter select the camera filter from there Go to the Stuff. It is really looking very much amazing kind of goldish effect now just hit ok and let's add some lights on the image so create new layer create a brush tool and just uh, select any of the color from here orange color just increase the size of the brush and hit ok change the blending mode to screen press ctrl T and let's just Keep it somewhere over here. Here you can press Ctrl U and just make it more brighter. So finally here we have done our process of editing in a perfect way like a cinematic look. So here you can see the before and after. It is really looking very much amazing. I hope you all have just enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video you know so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset like this for you guys and if you still not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of our videos and presets. Also don't forget to visit our website that is www.astrocreations.com From there you can download new backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, LUTs, PNGs and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free. Also guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram just type Astrid preset. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates.